Hello everyone, happy Monday to you. Jackie Tomlin here and we're going to get into your weekly read. This is just going to be a brief version of what's coming for the week ahead. Uh, join me tonight at 7 p.m. live on youtube.com backslash psychic Jackie. This is when we do the full-blown weekly reading and I go into many, many areas of the week. Now, Schedule for here, what we're looking like today is the weekly read. And then tomorrow, we'll narrow it down to the next 48 hours. Good morning, everyone. And then we, of course, we have podcasts on Wednesday. Another reading on Thursday, weekend read. Stick around. If you guys haven't subscribed or liked or followed, please do so. I got um, more oracles here than normal. For whatever reason, I'm just the messenger. We're going to roll with it, okay? And we're going to see what the week looks like. Hi, Donnie. All righty. Let's see. What do we have coming up here? For the week ahead. First full week of November. Official beginning of the holiday season. Hard to believe, isn't it? All right. Rebuild your life. Leaving a relationship can be devastating. Attract the love that you deserve. Mm, big changes there. Intimate relationships. Friendships is the foundation of a good relationship. That is so true. <clears throat> I cannot stress that enough. That if you're not friends first, it's not going to go anywhere. That is the foundation. You want the foundations built on brick. You want the foundation built on sand. Then we have cherish yourself. Make an effort to prioritize your self-care this week. Always the plan, right? Always the plan. Technology. Your angels can see that you need a break from technology. Hey, Kiana. And then we have, if you're feeling bad about yourself, spend some time with people who are kind to you. And it says, say yes. It is far better than that you attempt to do something great and fail than not to try at all. There's going to be something or someone that's going to resent you with a yes or no answer. And it says, say yes. Spiritual protection. Call in Archangel Michael to protect yourself this week. Alrighty. Now with that said, let's lead right into those angels. Let's see what they have for you. For Michael to come in, he is your uh, angel of protection. Shielding, you are protected by the white light. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it says time to create. <clears throat> Probably time to speak up too. My voice has gotten all choked up ever since I got on here. Uh, love yourself. Archangel Michael, I cannot make that up, right? Freedom. You need your freedom. You need to expand your wings. Pay attention to your dreams. You are loved. Send love. And know that you are mm -hmm. safe. I'm give you one more here. <clears throat> Friendship. Okay. No wonder we got so many oracles. Michael is at the wheel this week. I love it. It's going to be a good week. Going to be a good week. Let's do a few more of these oracles before we get into your reading. Winter. The answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. Okay, now here in the U.S., our first day of winter is December 21st. That gives you an idea. December, January, February. Walk away. 
leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result of doing so. And we have your wish is granted. What you asked for is coming in. Your wish is granted. I also see fresh flowers. Fresh flowers. Whether you buy them, whether you pick them, <clears throat> I see fresh flowers. Marriage. The fairies join you in celebrating a wedded bliss. Be yourself. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. Do some research. You need some more information about the situation. Look into it further before proceeding. And easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything. And all the doors will open for you. <clears throat> Put that energy elsewhere. Put that energy elsewhere. And let's see, what do we have here? Last one. Now, if y'all coming into a collective with a personal question, throw it out there and see if Spirit answers you. If you're looking for a personal reading, visit my website at JackieTownland.com. I've been around for 18 years and got a ton of options over there. Okay, so what do we have here? You got a jumper that says go outside. You've been inside too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Past life. The situation involves your past life memories. Fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. It's the third, fourth time I've told you to love yourself. Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Inner wisdom. There's your intuition. It says you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. <clears throat> okay, some good, strong, positive messages. Michael at the wheel. Let's get into this weekly read. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Got some things done. Enjoyed yourself. Took a little time to relax. Tell you what, it's going to be a quick moving week. I haven't even gotten into the cards and I already know it. Quick moving. First card up. Death card energy. The death card energy. This says endings, closures, rebirths, new beginnings. This transformation. Expect change this week. Three of Wands. You got a patience problem going on. With the Six of Wands. We're just talking about trusting your intuition. This is leading you to victory success. Some type of glow up going on. Elena, hi dear. Thank you. And you got a jumper. Says you're on the right path. I'll take that anytime. Anytime. So some kind of glow up. You could be asked to train a group of people. You could be asked to do some public speaking. Some of you are making a news appearance. Hmm. Going to resonate with someone. But you got some kind of glow up going on. Y'all, I got one here. Do y'all see that right there? That I forgot to put up there until it drive me freaking nuts. We're going to fix that. <laughs> I just say it's just sticking right out. I see it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Center of the reading. Y'all, I had no voice problem until I went live. So this tells me you need to speak up about something. There's something that needs to be said and you need to speak up. Center your reading. Look there, guys. Ten of Pentacles. It's your abundance. 
health, wealth, family, friends, everything you ever wanted. Sometimes you need something to remind you just how abundant you are. And then we have the lovers. Intensity and love. Now this applies to my singles as well as to my couples. And of course we're going to clarify that. Six of Swords. Thank you, Elena. Six of Swords says you're leaving the troubled waters. You're heading off into the calm. Someone's blowing hot air. You know they are. You know they are. False promises, false pretenses. But you're going to recognize it right off the bat. Five of Cups. Let's not overthink things this week. Let's move forward in a positive light. Let's do us. Okay. And then we have, look at there, the magician. Trump in that reading with the magician. Your yes answer again, everything you want and desire right there in front of you. Y'all know Michael's going to make that happen, right? Because the four of swords says it is the calm before the storm. Wowzers, y'all. Wowzers. All right, let's go further. Let's go further with these messages, shall we? A little clarification here. We're going to start with that death card. The changes. Transformation. We have a jumper. Says it's going to come. Rushing in. I told you it's going to be a quick moving week, folks. Quick moving. Nine of Pentacles, financial independence, doing you, putting you first, as those oracles said. And the Ten of Swords says, you're surrounded by healing energy, both physically healing and emotionally healing. Also want to throw out that the symbol of a white owl indicating wisdom will let you know that you're on the right path. Um, and for some of you, you may get news, not bad news, but it has something, somebody that drives a motorcycle may or may not resonate for you. Three of Wands. Losing patience. Two of Wands. You're making some travel plans. I don't say you're making travel plans. Let's say you're looking at travel plans. You're wanting to get away. Maybe you're just starting to research some travel plans. Okay? Can't make it up. Death card energy again. Death beside death. Powerful new beginnings. Strong new beginnings. Something with, bam, that impact in your face. New beginning. This week, folks. This week. Page of Pentacles. you got a good business deal coming in place. Some of you are thinking about starting a business. Some of you are thinking about starting an online business. I'm going to tell you, do it. Just do it. Isn't that the Nike logo? Just do it. All right, this glow up you've got going on. The world is your oyster. Hey, Ruth Ann. And the emperor. Mm -hmm. Dominant, prominent, take charge type person. Someone is rushing in to save the day. Two of cups. This emperor or empress, you take it as it resonates with you, is going to look for date night. Some kind of meeting. I don't, I, all right, I want to revise that. I don't want to say it's date night. I think that this may be someone, hey, Angel, Angie, I think this is someone who may want to take you out to dinner as a friend. They'll let you know that they like you more than a friend. Okay, you got another jumper here on the right path. Keep your options open. You got options in everything that you do. Keep your options open. No rash decisions. Do not pass judgment on someone this week. Don't do it. I'm telling you, you're going to be wrong. Don't do it. I cannot stress this one enough.
And we have Four of Cups, Unexpected Offer Love. I can see you judging someone like as in that wolf in sheep's clothing and come to find out that was not them at all. Do not pass judgment this week. It may bring in a missed opportunity if you do. Now, on your abundance, radiating through your reading, your abundance. A little bit of delay attached to it. Could have something to do with a Virgo energy. You could also be dealing with someone with a foreign descent. Drama. Let's steer clear of it. I'm telling y'all again. I told you this last night. I'm going to tell you again. This is not your drama. This is not your radio. Not your circus and not your monkeys. This is someone trying to involve you in their drama. Don't do it. Financial stability. This isn't a windfall, but it does say it gives you a little sigh of relief that your finances are falling into line for you. And then we have on the lovers card. The lovers. What does the lovers come in with? Ooh, there is a huge offer of love coming. Coming, coming, coming. Um... Wow, some of you, this could be a proposal. This is a huge offer coming into play. This person has meditated. This person has prayed upon this to approach you right. Cancer jumps out. May resonate. Okay, so with this offer of love, we've got the movement on the home front. Some are moving in, some are moving out. This could be someone you've lived with before in the past. This could be someone who is looking at that happily ever after and looking to emerge households. Time frame is now. This has got a shock and awe to it. Just so you know. And for some of you, I feel this person is at a distance. That maybe they're moving back. Yeah, shock and all of that. Okay, so, Six of Swords, folks. Six of Swords. Someone from the past. I'm going to throw it way, way, way back in the past. Not like the past, like a couple of years ago. I'm talking about way past. I'm telling y'all that one day is going to drive me freaking nuts. Um... Way back in the past. Childhood past. Okay? This person may be moving back. Causing a loss of sleep. And the sun shining brightly in all that you do. And you know what? I really feel that this person is going to steer a little something something in you. <laughs> we may have to do a love reading later this week. I'm just saying. It's popping up strong. Not a bad thing. All right, five of cups. No overthinking on your part. Thank you. I can't see secretion. Se uh, the name. Hey, Lashi, how are you? Sacred, thank you so much. Lashi, thank you. Again, no overthinking on this lover's card. No overthinking. Let's just roll with the flow. Remember, Michael's at the wheel. Trust where you're being led. Knight of Pentacles, you've got news of money in the pipeline. Okay, and what I mean by that, that the money is in the pipeline, it means it's not right here. Okay, it's not right here, but it's coming. This could be where some of you are starting a business or a side hustle or something you've done in the past. It's getting ready to pay off. Rainbow of Love, how are you, my dear? She is from the OG of YouTube. 
and the page of swords someone is watching you secret of my y'all see it look if i turn my head you see it it's <laughs> We're going to have to redo this or I'm going to cut it off, one of the two. It's going to drive me crazy. Okay. So, someone watching you. Taurus energy. Watching every move you make. Admiration. Right back at you, Rainbow. I can't help but look. <laughs> Do you not see this? Do you not see this? It's a right, like, dead in my vision. And we have, again, with the hermit saying you're on the right path. Okay, this is one of the weeks we just got to suck it up and trust where we're being led. Just like this oracle said, a let go of control issues. Not that I'm a control freak, but I like to control everything. Just saying. And we have the magician. The magician that says... Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Card of Self-Imposed Restriction. No one can hold you back this week but you. Well, if Michael's at the wheel, he's not going to have it. Virgos are a controlling sign. Y'all don't like change either at all. Queen of Pentacles. Look at you sitting on your throne. Got everything going on. You're, you're in a good spot this week. You're in good energy. Good week to get things done. Hi, Michelle. And the hair font. Y'all, manifest, manifest, manifest. I did some of that last night. Some manifestation. Um, good time. This is a new moon, you know. New moon, new things, new energy. Let's smudge. Um... Let's do some energy work, some Reiki, some yoga, all of that. And I do have a Reiki special going on this month. It's just that time. Four Swords, the calm before the storm. Someone, th this is probably going to be your storm. <laughs> Someone you're not speaking to or have not contacted in a long time is getting ready to contact you. It's going to provoke a tower. Damn, I nailed that one, didn't I? There's your storm. The calm before the storm, here's the storm. This is someone you've been involved with before. Most certain of it. Or if not, it's some somebody you've loved before, whether it's family, friends, or a significant other. There's your calm before the storm, and there is the storm. It is coming in later this week. Well, I don't know about y'all, but this was pretty informative. All right, let's just throw down a couple of randoms. Let's go throw down these. Um, join me tonight at 7 p.m. for the large collective read. Those are a lot of fun. They go a little bit further. All right, let's throw down some randoms here. Good news arise. You're going to be ready to celebrate. You need to get the rest that you can while you can. Remember I said this could be a quick moving week and it's going to hit all of a sudden. Someone's coming in to make an offer of commitment. Some kind of big promise. Be warned of being used by someone. You do not have time to procrastinate or put things off this week. So you know. You don't have time. Definitely dealing with the nurse sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The time frame is now. Again, with a new beginning in the winter. Some kind of clarity. Some kind of aha moment. Something you suspected is coming to fruition this week. Secrets are going to be revealed. You're going to get what you want, but it's not... It's coming in a form you're not suspecting. And whatever you've been manifesting since spring is getting ready to come in. So, expect sudden change. Expect it. You're surrounded by healing energy. Good luck and abundance. Gemini energy. 
expect an ending, and Michael is there. All right, game. Let me leave you with some affirmations for today. It's a good read. Good, 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 good read. Surrender to the spirit energy. Practice your chakra healing. Meditate on the answer. You are energy and you are magic. Choose faith over fear. Real change starts from within you. I cannot tell you how many times in this ring I told you to trust your intuition. Trust where you're being led. All about you doing that journey inward this week. We're going to do it together. This month's podcast series is on body, mind, and soul. Very excited about that as well. It goes hand in hand with your reading today. All right, gang. If you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTalman.com. If you're looking for Reiki information, also hit me up there. You guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.